I'm gonna wreck it! Wreck it Ralph. Ralph breaks the internet. But did he really break it or just help break it? When the first Ralph movie came out, honestly, I thought it was going to be complete bust. After giving in to my curiosity, I had to go watch it. And might I say, I was completely wrong about the movie the whole time. So when Ralph Breaks the Internet was mentioned, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Shouldn't it be Ralph Wrecks the Internet? Yes, yeah, since he is Wreck It Ralph. I was not disappointed about that movie. That movie was great. Who knew how big the internet was? We normally think of it as data in the air, zipping around with zeros and ones. Especially seeing spam and pop-ups as a toxic annoying little things and how viruses multiply like bunnies in a bunny farm. But not all viruses multiply, some just walk around not knowing they're viruses. No, I'm not calling Ralph a virus, we're talking about the little blue guy trying to make money on the side. I'm talking about Vanellope Von Sweets. At this point, I'm going to tell you, spoilers ahead. Before we can get to the theory that Vanellope is a virus, we must go over the plot of the movie. Short terms, Penelope's game is shut down because the steering wheel is broke. So Ralph and Penelope head to the internet, to eBay, to buy the part that they need. Come to find out, they don't have money because they're just game characters. So they get caught in a scam to make money fast and Penelope finds the online game she loves. Ralph becomes an internet sensation and gets the money, but Penelope decides to stay. Ralph gets jealous, buys a virus, lets the virus loose on the game, the virus sticks out into the internet, and the internet is destroyed. Friends become enemies, and let's just say at the end, Ralph stops the virus and saves the internet. Vanellope and Ralph make up, become friends again, Vanellope decides to stay, and Ralph goes home. Now we are caught up on the movie, let's talk about the evidence of Vanellope being a virus. But first we have to go back 6 years to when Candy took over Sugar Rush and rewrote the code trying to delete Vanellope from the game. King Candy failed because Vanellope is a major part of the game. Like a major part of the game. And in the process, he accidentally made Vanellope a virus. The same as him. You can say he's not a virus, but wait. At the end of the first movie, he states he's one of the strongest viruses. Because of you, Ralph, I'm now the most powerful virus in the arcade. <laughs> I can take over any game I want. With the virus rewriting game codes and deleting characters will lead to some damage to other codes. We have proof of this from Vanellope's glitch. See, the kids playing the game say she has the coolest power. Pick Vanellope, Swatty. She's got the best superpower. Yeah, the glitch. Not all racers have powers. The racer that comes close to having any type of power is Candlehead. It's not really a power, it's just part of her car and a candle lit on her helmet that she uses to light cherry bombs during a race. If the other characters don't have powers, then how are the kids controlling Vanellope's power? In reality, they're not controlling the glitch. Vanellope is glitching all on her own. Basically, all her races that she played, she cheated. She didn't race fairly. If you look at the scene where the steering wheel breaks off, look how much control she has of the game. She's literally controlling the steering wheel fighting back against the kids playing the game. She has more control of that game than what people actually think. You have a racer fighting against the kid. One pulling one way, the other pulling the other way ends up breaking the steering wheel. So if that game's infected, these men believe that she infected Tron too. See, Tron is one of Vanellope's favorite games. And her and Ralph played in Tron so many times that she ended up putting a virus inside the game code itself, causing it to be damaged. Now, if she was able to do that, it's a matter of time before Tappers gets infected. Maybe Ralph's game. Might I add there's some shade going on in Tappers on how having kids leads to drinking. Maybe I'm just looking too deep into the scene. When she crossed the finish line at the end of the first movie, the game reset, which means her glitch reset. She only got the glitch because she wasn't really part of the game code. She was disconnected from the main game itself as a random character leading to her code being corrupted and she becomes a virus. Soon she will infect Slaughter Race completely where there will be no resetting it, the game will crash and the characters will be lost forever or end up being homeless. I have a theory on what happens when your game gets unplugged and plugged back in. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see that video. If you like this video, hit that like button along with the red subscription button with the bell to know when I post new videos. My Twitter is down below. Tweet me at this handle. Until the next video, 
Peace, guys.